and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. I'm going to revisit how we can capture video in EMGU CV 3.3 version. For 3.1 and older versions of EMGU CV, the videos from camera and a video were captured using the capture class. However, this class has been renamed in 3.2 and 3.3 is video capture in an early video i explained how we can capture both camera and videos however in this tutorial i'll tell how we can get uh, videos to be read in emgu cv so let's see in the implementation this project is already configured to use emgu cv so let me go and add a new form and just give it a name for example form video capture what i want to do here is uh, just let me design this form so So I created two picture boxes and I label to display the frame number and then open play and pause. These are self-explanatory. Let me close this toolbox, double click on open. The first thing that we need to do with every EMGU CV project is to use these two lines emgu.cv and also emgu.cv.structures. Here, let me create a capture object, and this is called video capture. This is the object that we will be using to capture the video from the uh, video file, and also a bool of type pause is equal to false to indicate that we have not yet paused the video and then in the open menu strip uh, event i would like to ask the user to open a, a video file so i'll use open file dialog and create an object of this open file dialog and then i show this uh, file dialog to the user and if he uh, selects uh, a video file and it clicks ok then i'll be able to uh, read the video what I want to do is just I want to read the first frame of the video and display it in the picture box and then the user will play uh, this click the play button so that we will continue playing the video and if he clicks the pause we will pause the video so capture equals new capture and here uh, as a constructor you can see uh, we can pass the file name so the file name will be obtained from the user interface that is the open file dialog and then capture dot read read function remember always requires as you can see a mad object so I will create a mate m equals new and read the uh, the read method will read the data from frame by frame and uh, put this one into the M object. At the moment, since I am not using the loop, I'm just reading the first frame and I put it in the this M uh, object, which is of type mate. And I just I want to display it in picture box one dot image equals M dot two. You can say bitmap. Okay that's it so this one will what it will do is just display the first frame in the image indicating that we have just read the uh, load the image and read the first frame and now once we play the video what I want to do is I need to check that capture object is if equals no we will do nothing just return it so we need to make sure that the uh, 
capture object has been created and uh, some videos have been loaded already in the object so the next thing that i want to do is uh, to make sure that the function the application runs smoothly even though there is an error so i will use the catch try catch mbox and it just i'll display this error message over here and the first thing that i need to do is to apply a while loop and while not paused i want to continue and read the frames one at a time and of course i need a made object to read the frames i'll create that object and it'll say capture dot read and pass this made object uh, so that the capture dot read function will read the data and put in my um, made and i need to make sure that uh, if this made dot not is empty it shouldn't be empty so that i can display it in picture box to dot image equals to m dot bit make and uh, in else case what i need to do is to just break this for loop since this while loop is working and my i will not be able to see each frame until and unless it do not loop overall so uh, i need to do a tricky thing here i need to make or call it asynchronously and introduce some delay so i call this function uh, this event asynchronously and over here i need to use this await keyword so that there will be a delay for some time and i use the task dot delay let's say for one thousand second but this is not the realistic you know for i should be able to wait for the time duration of the frames per second so there should be a way to get the the frames per second uh, I need to read those uh, frames per second for this video. In a video capture class, there is a method, as I have shown you here, get capture property. And this capture, get capture property will be able to get all the uh, properties associated with the capture object. And here is a special uh, enum, and these are all the properties which, which you can get from the uh, captured uh, captured object about the video here you can see fps this is uh, what i'm talking about the frames per second the frame rate i want to read it so that i'll divide this thousand by frame rate and give the approximation of the frame rate and give the impression as the video is going smoothly as with the real frame rate so i need to get that double frame per second equals to how i get it is very interesting capture dot get capture property and in this enum i pass the frames per second that's great and then i divide this by frames per second hmm. i need to convert this one into integer convert dot to int 32 and then it's done so let's run this application so file open a video let's say this video so this is as i uh, shown in when i open the video i read the first frame just to show that video has been read and then i play it so here you see that the it is same as the smooth play of the video and the pause has not yet been implemented so the video is finished actually so uh to to pause the video i have already created a, a boolean object pause and what i will do pause equals to i should say not equal to pause so that when i if i want to replay it again i need to double click again on this so let me this time play another video of a traffic and here you can see it's just like a normal video you can pause it again you need to click it so that it will be true and then play it so this is how we read the video frames in emg ucv 3.3 using video capture 
class. So see you in the next video.